let's take a look at your stroking and see how you do that. So now it, it makes me very stable. It's easy to go down and then it's easy to uh, stay uh, uh, my center of the gravity stay in the same spot so don't feel like a very wobbly. Yeah. Yeah, well, ideally when we do our crossovers we want our upper body to be motionless. Now I notice when you do crossovers actually uh, what, what Kaz does quite well is he has pretty good biomechanics and posture in his upper body. Uh, but you have this typical mistake of leaning, I think, a little too far forward and inside the curve. So I think your upper body is leaning in a little bit. Can you try now to stroke in such a way that you keep your upper body more vertical? I think this looks quite nice actually. And then, then if we change from one direction to the other, we don't have to shift our upper body. Okay. So. Okay, you're pausing a little bit on this. I'll make this while you to, while you mention you have a little pause okay. here. Okay. So keep this moving. Okay. So um, some of the uh, ice dance coach told me um, to press like this and this. Yeah, maybe that's some specific technique that is used in ice dancing that comes from one of the compulsory dances, set pattern dances. I, I don't know, I can't comment on that, but I disagree that with that in, in my stroking technique. I don't I don't have any any turnout. Okay. I keep para. I keep my feet pretty parallel. There, well there might be just a slight amount of turnout but I mostly keep the feet parallel all the time when I'm doing crossovers. But you can see that they stay parallel. Um, because um, not only are outside of the circle after the cross um, turn and then push and then point the points that's what I learned in the ice stance lesson yeah yeah well the point yes I, I agree with that we want to point the toe at the end of the stroke because this gives you a little more power when you use your ankle you can push using your ankle and it also is better aesthetically. But it looks nice when you point more it out. Like, uh, turn. Turn 45 degree and then push. Yeah, that's, that's not my technique. Okay. I'd like to see what that looks like. That's, I can't do it anyway. Yeah. Um, uh, it certainly doesn't have any practical like value from my perspective. Like uh, but, so use like a brush, that's what I was told, cross, brush, and then a brush, and then brush. cross, 45 degree, and... Uh -huh. so well, I don't use any, any ankle. I mean, my ankle just uh, straight, just points. I just point my toe at the end of the crossover. I don't use any, uh, like dropping my ankle, pronating or supinating or anything strange like that. The uh, 
Uh, the lean comes not from the ankle. I don't want to pronate like this on the end of the crossover. I'm not sure if that's what you mean by like getting into some position like this. Okay. I, uh, I, the, the, the lean comes from the hip so that the blade is lined up with the hip the whole time. The, 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 right now my blade is not, it's lined up over here. That's a uh, supinated position, so I don't, I try not to do that. I try to have the lean right from the hip to the blade through the knee aligned personally okay. for power and good biomechanics. Because um, if I try to practice point, 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 tend to be more pulled. So I rather feel like continuous motion than makes me easy to gain a speed in the program uh, before the jumps or before some uh -huh. Well, it takes a little bit of practice to, uh, you, 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 this is an instantaneous point. In other words, you don't sustain it. You point just for a, just for an absolute moment of time, not even a moment, it's instantaneous. You, you point and then you start, when you lift that foot up after pointing, it immediately flexes again to get ready for the next. So it's, it's like a, a instantaneous. Yeah. Instantaneous means you take a photo from a video. If I take a photo out of a video, that's an instantaneous. That's our stroking lesson. Wow, the time went by quickly today. You can spend so much time on your stroking and it's going to be a big benefit to you. So, hope you took something away from this class today. All right, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel, help it grow.